Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Kuat Transfer V2 2 bike rack here on our 2020 Hyundai Tucson. So the Kuat Transfer has a unique gold post or U-shaped frame design which makes it a lot easier to mount and dismount your bikes but it also has a bunch of other premium features that are pretty good at the affordable price point. So we'll take a look at one of the features which is that it can tilt away. What I like to do is I like to move this frame mount out of the way. That way I can just step right into our bike rack, step on that lever, tilt that bike rack down, and you'll want to do this if you want to access your hatch. So as you can see here on our Hyundai Tucson, there's actually clearance between our door and our handlebars, allowing us to get into our hatch, maybe grab our water, our helmets, our bags, all without having to take our bike off. If you've noticed though, I do have kind of shorter handlebars. So if you have longer handlebars, you may have a slight issue with opening your hatch in terms of clearance. But on the upside, it's super easy to take off your bike if you need to. So let's take a look at that process. So first, our bike is mounted at two points. We have a wheel strap in the back and we have a front wheel mount here in the front. So that front wheel mount design, I really like because then I have a carbon frame bike here. So if I use a traditional hook, it comes down and holds it by its frame. I'd be worried about warping or cracking my frame. But here with the front wheel mount, I don't have to worry about that. Also, if I have alternate frame bikes like my women's bikes or children's bikes or step through bikes, I don't need to get a frame adapter bar because of that front wheel mount. So when you want to take your bike off, you start by the rear wheel strap. You press the lever right over here, pull that strap up and then out. Try to leave it as much to the side so it's not tangled up in your spokes when you take your bike off. Then you go over here to the front. Hold on to your bike as you do so because the moment you release this, this may tilt backwards. So you press that button, lift up on that hook, push that out. And from here, it's just a slight lift and you're ready to go on a bike ride. And with the bike out of the way, we get to take a closer look here at our cradles. So we have our rear wheel cradle and this has different grooves for the different bike tires that you might be carrying. So whether you have the really thin road bike style tire or the really wide fat bike tire, this is going to fit. Now. On its own, it can fit tires up to three inches wide, but if you have a fat bike tire, this can fit tires up to five inches wide if you get this separate fat bike strap adapter. So that strap goes in and ratchets down on each side to secure your rear wheel. Over here in the front, we have this large front wheel cradle. It also has those grooves. It also has an adjustability for different wheel bases and then you have this front wheel clamp. So this clamp comes down and secures your front wheel. You have different options for when you wanna stow it. I like to put it all the way to the end. That way I keep the middle of my goal post as clear as possible. This does have a weight capacity of 40 pounds per bike with this version. It comes in two versions. One has an inch and a quarter shank the other has a two inch shank. So if you have the inch and a quarter shank, you get 40 pounds per bike. If you have the two inch shank, you get 60 pounds per bike. We'll talk about that a little later when we talk about how it fits into our hitch. Right now, we're gonna talk about how much length this adds to the back of your vehicle. So here on our Tucson, we're gonna measure from our rear bumper all the way to the end of the bike rack, and it sits at 34 inches. That's pretty normal for a two bike bike rack, but it's still gonna be a length. You're gonna have to remember whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot that there is that length added back there. Let's also take a look at ground clearance. So measuring from underneath the tray, it sits at about 20 inches for ground clearance. Underneath the shank, we have a ground clearance of 13 inches. So our hitch here on our Tucson actually sits kind of lower, especially compared to the rest to where our bumper is. So with a 13 inch ground clearance over here, I do appreciate how it has that shank rise so your bike sit higher up. 
because as you go up steep inclines like driveways or hills, you want to be conscious of how much ground clearance you have with your bicycles behind you. Another of its features is that you can fold it up. <clears throat> to do so, you press this lever and you fold that bike rack up. So with it folded up like this, let's take some measurements. Measuring from our bumper to the end of the goal post, it sits at 10 inches. Now it does sit out a little bit further here at that foot lever. So that's gonna be 13 inches away from your bumper. Closest point is gonna be from that bumper to that front wheel cradle and you're gonna have a three inch clearance. Plenty of clearance, no worries at all about it actually making contact with your vehicle. All looks pretty good over here. Our rear window is completely visible as are our tail lights. Now our backup camera here on our Tucson sits right over there, sort of in the middle of your vehicle. And then your license plate is there as well. This is where the gold post design really shines. Since this area is open, you won't be, everything behind you through the backup camera will still be visible. You'll still see the bike rack a little bit, but you'll also see everything behind you. As well as our license plate that stays visible with this gold post design. Let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So this one has the inch and a quarter shank with a two inch hitch adapter. For that reason, this is the bike rack that can be adapted to, to a single bike rack with a 60 pound weight capacity or a double bike rack with a 40 pound weight capacity each. If you have the two inch shank version, it looks just like this, but you'll get to adapt it to three bikes. This has a hitch pin and a clip this does not use a knob to tighten it down, but uses a security wrench. That's my main downside with this style. I prefer the knob you see on the Sherpa or the Ku at um, NV. But with this tightened down, it works also as an anti-rattle device. It extends the ball cam. So as I shake our bike rack, I'm mainly shaking the vehicle, showing that that ball cam extends inside the hitch and holds the bike rack snug to the hitch receiver, reducing the rattle and sway the bike's experience on the road. All right, so my final thoughts about the Kuat transfer is I'm a huge fan of that goal post design. I think it looks really good and it works really well. This keeps everything visible as well. My license plate, my backup camera are pretty visible. If I can, I prefer getting the two inch shank version just to get that extra weight capacity but also at 40 pounds, that's slightly more than your average bike rack and is pretty much all you need for your regular road and mountain bikes. So that was a look at the Kuat Transfer V2 2 bike rack here on our 2020 Hyundai Tucson.